Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is finally here. And these are the performance metrics that you can expect if you have a RTX 3080. Now, my RTX 3080 is the 10 gigabyte version and it is water cooled inside of a custom loop and it is under volted. And so my clock speeds may be a little bit higher than a lot of people's 3080s right out of the box and my temperatures are definitely going to be lower. But more or less, this is about what you can expect to see with a RTX 3080. I also have my 3080 paired with an AMD Ryzen 5800X. And now let's get straight into the point and get right to the benchmarks. I started off with 14 1440p, there is an ultra preset and an extreme preset. And looking at them side by side, you can see that the data is almost identical, definitely within the margin of error. And so lowering the preset from extreme down to ultra doesn't really seem to make that big of a difference in terms of overall frame rate. You can see the averages, the minimum, the maximums, even the 1% lows are almost identical. Okay, that's it for the 1440p results, but now let's talk about 4K. And how does 4K native compare to 4K with DLSS. Okay, looking at 4K Extreme and Ultra side by side, once again, you can see there's not that big of a difference between the presets, only about two FPS on average. You're looking at 74 FPS on average with the Extreme preset versus 76 on average with the Ultra preset. And even the 1% lows are basically identical at this point. Now, where we do see a little bit of an improvement is by dropping it down one more setting to 4K balanced. Average frame rate is 88 FPS and the 1% lows are at 63 FPS. This is definitely a noticeable improvement. Unfortunately, you can't just drop down one preset in this game and see a big difference from the extreme preset. In this case, you do need to drop down at least two presets. So using that 4K balance preset really seems to make a difference at 4K. Okay, so what about DLSS? Well, I like to use DLSS quality and I've been very vocal about that on the channel. And the reason why is because it preserves as much image quality as possible. So starting off with DLSS quality mode with a 4K extreme preset and the ultra preset side by side, once again, we see numbers that are not too far apart. So DLSS in this case radically improved the frame rate, bringing us up to 116 and 118 FPS respectively, whenever you compare it to the base extreme and ultra presets without DLSS. This is a noticeable improvement and while the frame rate did improve, the margin between the two presets did not change. The other thing I want to point out is that these numbers are incredibly similar to the 1440p results. And the reason why is because DLSS quality mode will dip down to 1440p and upscale that to 4K. So these numbers look almost identical. And that is because we are essentially gaming at 1440p whenever we use DLSS quality. Now, what is the opposite of DLSS quality mode? Well, that would be ultra performance. And looking at the 4K extreme and ultra presets using DLSS ultra performance, we can see a radical difference in numbers now. Not only did the overall frame rate radically improve from the original numbers, but the margin between the two presets is radically higher. Instead of looking at only two FPS difference between the averages, we are now looking at approximately 22 FPS difference here. This is a radical change. Okay, this is a brand new format I'm trying for my benchmarking videos. It's short, sweet, to the point. Do you like it or is it not enough? Let me know in the comment section down below. Now, speaking about the results that we just saw, is that what you expected? Did you expect the 3080 to perform that way? Or were you expecting a little bit more? I'm curious to know your thoughts. You might have a question on your mind. Is a 3080 still worth it even two years later in 2022? I'm doing a full video on that topic and it's coming up next. So be sure to get subscribed so you don't miss out. And if you're considering purchasing a 40 series card, be sure to watch this video first and make sure you're informed about what's going on because those cards are not what they seem. But hey, if you like this video, do me a favor and hit that like button because it goes a long way in helping me out. And until next time, E-Rock out.